Hello and welcome to our new video. Today I'm going to review Windows XP Integral Edition after I review Windows Vista Delta, you know. If you like this at the end, you may of course like and subscribe at the end. And if you have anything to tell me, please hear the comments. Today it's about uh, this was suggested by Purple Pink 8678. You see which videos these are. Uh, yeah. Shout out. But, but that's, that's not, not what, what it's, it's about. about. It's about the VM I'm booting up. Just like last time, I'm using a VM, but in in case of Windows XP, using a real system. Uh, it's. Uh, well, that's not necessary, not even here, um, on a system like mine. You see the normal Windows XP boot screen, Windows uh, XP Integral Edition didn't change that, and as, all, uh, as last time I did install it beforehand, so you don't have to see the installation process. Uh, that's uh, what I like to do in tutorials, but not in reviews. But there's a mouse thing. Okay, what they didn't fix is the sound issue. For that, there's set timer service. I sh okay, I should review Windows XP versions on VirtualBox instead. Probably. Well, what does it deliver? First of all, let's check the system information. Course, it seems to be a bit slower than the original Windows XP, and okay, I also gave it a whole uh, less RAM because Windows XP doesn't need that much, honestly. It's based on Windows XP Professional, and let's see what it got. So, it opens as But I'll stick with Xeon as this is the official theme. It also recommends you some programs, which is a bit, which is nice. Okay, it's called Microsoft Update and Microsoft Update Canada here, but they don't work. Tadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadad
And he has very hard to fix the slow boot. Then there's some sort of unlocker. I don't know what this is about. Oh, this is the take ownership thing. I've installed almost everything except for the HD DVD Blu-ray drivers. Because I don't have a Blu-ray or HD DVD drive. But there's seven zip pre-installed. Maybe play a classic. And to get my poll. So some Microsoft programs have even been replaced here with better alternatives. Keep. We can talk about Media Player Classic, but my poll is definitely better than Internet Explorer. That is it. Let's see what else they did with it. Music, pictures, videos. Okay, they removed this. Let's see what they did. Let's look into media. Okay, they at least kept the original sounds. Okay, they only did include two wallpapers. Okay, probably more. What do I have to say about this? Okay, that went really quickly, but yeah. Uh, I haven't really tested its compatibility out because I installed it on our default Windows XP VM or on VMware Workstation Player 12. It's also good that they replaced some of the Microsoft stuff with stuff with better alternatives. Okay, we can talk about Media Player Classic, as I said. They also include 7-zip, which is nice, because that's a necessary program, in my opinion. So basically, it's Windows XP, but you can, uh, you can go use it pretty much immediately uh, as soon as you install it. Maybe that I could have included the VLC Media Player instead of Media Player Classic, but uh, you can re uh, you can install it yourself anyway. This is a pretty good thing indeed. The idea is good, but well, you know, I get myself out of this video. We'll see in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, that's what they changed as well. I forgot to say that.